senior fellow at the Tabad Lab. It's a think tank and advisory services firm. Uh, Musharraf joins us now from uh, Islamabad. Thank you so much indeed for your time. Why is the situation in Pakistan so bad? Let's just make clear that uh, when uh, the literacy rate around the world is uh, calculated, it means essentially 15 years and older, not younger. That's right. Uh, the literacy rate in Pakistan is bad because uh, young children, uh, many young children, never get to go to school to begin with. So the uh, options and the choices for Pakistani uh, students are, are constrained, are limited because of the pipeline uh, to accept and to process young people and, uh, and to prepare them for a life in which they can read and write and, uh, and be cognitively capable of participating in the global economy, that pipeline is uh, extremely constrained. And of course, this is something that is, uh, is an intergenerational challenge. Um, even today, the literacy rate continues to hover between 58 and 60 percent, and it has hovered at that very rate for the, for the last better part of the last decade. The last time there was any substantial improvement uh, was was many many years ago and uh, usually big changes in the literacy rate are only enacted uh, when there's a change in the definition that either widens or restricts the scope of who qualifies to be literate. Musharraf, is it a failing of government or is it a societal issue? No, it's it's a failure of government. Uh, it's a, that that's what I meant. It's it's a failure of the supply side, uh, the incapability, the lack of uh, political commitment the lack of uh, allocation of financial resources uh, and the, the absence of the elite's interest in any kind of well-being for those that are non-elites, whether that's the middle class, uh, which fends for itself, which is why Pakistan has one of the world's largest private school networks, particularly low-cost and medium-cost private schools. Uh, they've popped up like, like wild mushrooms across the length and breadth of the country over the last two decades. Uh, because the middle class fends for itself. But those that are not able to fend for themselves and those that live in areas where there's no profitability associated with uh, private schools, even low-cost private schools, those folks are completely on their own. Of course, there are government schools in all parts of the country, but government school supply is constrained, as I said before, because whilst there may be uh, not an adequate number, but certainly a large number of primary schools, uh, the number of middle schools and high schools dramatically falls off. So the problem is with the, with the supply of schooling uh, by the government. And until uh, governments begin to allocate substantially more resources and begin to focus on the outcomes of kids going to school rather than treating kids like, like, uh, like goat herders treat goats, we're going to continue to see very low literacy rates in this country. Okay, what about the gender discrepancy here? Is that not a societal issue? If we just take, I mean, the discrepancy has existed since records even began, but you go down to the southwest, you go to the province of Balochistan, and the latest figures show that for men, literacy rates there are 73%. For women, they're below 34%. So, you know, I don't mind arguing this uh, ad infinitum. I, I, I continue to believe that this is a supply side failure. If there are constraints to the mobility of young girls, uh, teenage girls, uh, adolescent women and, and adult women, those mobility constraints and that those access issues are not the problem of society. Look, there are many more uh, conservative uh, and orthodox societies that have much better literacy rates for women. Uh, movement in Saudi Arabia has been restricted for decades until very recently, and yet they have a better literacy rate for women. Uh, women in Iran are restricted from uh, moving around without uh, the, the full hijab, and yet literacy rates are better for women. So the idea somehow that there's something so unique about Pakistani society, even though Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and India all share cultural uh, practices and uh, traditional uh, constraints, uh, means that there's something unique about Pakistan, even within the cultural and traditional context. And so it's not about culture, it's not about society. The failure is very much uh, a governmental failure, a supply side failure. Musharraf, thank you so much indeed for joining us on the News Hour here on TRT World. Have a very good day, and to you watching, wherever you are, you also have a good day. Thanks so much.